Welcome to DWI, Dez White Intoxicating Thoughts. And that voice over there you hear today is my girl, Nat Jones. Who? Nat Jones. Who? And you can find her on Instagram at? Nat Jones who? Twitter at? Nat Jones who? Facebook at? Nat Jones who? There you go. Yep. And as always, you know, you can find me on Twitter at It's Dez White. Is that your name? Dez, Dez White. White. Mm-hmm. With two Zs. Uh-huh. Facebook, Dez White. Uh-huh. Instagram. Dez White. With two Zs. Uh-huh. And hit me up, hit us up, let us know how you feel about the show, how you think about it, you know. Yeah, of course yeah. your opinion. Yeah. Give us a little feedback. A yeah. We yeah. enjoying ourselves. We know, you know, we hope y'all are, but we be having a damn good time. <laughs> the show this week is sponsored by Johnny Walker Wait. Black. Hold on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to take a shot. Oh wow, here we go. Just to start just the show to, off. Just to make sure the thoughts are intoxicating. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a lot of stuff, interesting stuff going on this week. Yeah, lots of lots of craziness, lots of good stuff too. Yeah. The city is on fire right now. We're excited. Go Strolls and Jose, Jose Altuve. Hey man, that's MVP right there. Done, son. I think Done. that's definitely MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your boy um, Correa and Springer and the whole squad just doing their thing. Verlander and his little. You know, Sports Illustrated girlfriend. Shout out to them Strolls. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't you do something on the internet or something with yeah. Altuve? You know what? I, no, no, no. I tweeted because I, I know Game Seven. Y'all remember the, the catch that Springer actually went over the third, the the outfielder, the other outfielder, right? Gonzalez, some get Gaddis. Uh, anyway, it was the other guy. Right. Anyway, he went over him and caught the ball and like literally went. So they have a feature on ESPN NFL Sunday where basically they do a, a feature of Randy Moss called You Got Moss. Right, I've and seen I it. tweet. Okay, so I tweeted Randy on Saturday night and said, "Oh my gosh, uh, Springer just mossed his own dude." If you follow me on Twitter, you'll have you'll see it. I have proof. And you can follow on Twitter at Nat Jones. Who? There you go. So anyway, they they said that it had, now he didn't mention my name or my Twitter handle, but he did say that it had been nominated and it was the last one nominated on for on the show, and so it was the last one that they showed. So I think I got a little props. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's what's know, up. You no, know, hey, hey, famous, yeah. famous in yeah. the behind the scenes. You know, ESPN should send you a producer check for that. Well, you know, I was but, trying to help know, him out. Right on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it was it was a cool game to watch, cool series to to see and. Clutch City, baby. Let's see how we jump it off this week, baby. I'm excited. First so game is this week. Yeah, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And then they start off in L.A. Right. Two games L.A., three games in Houston. Mm-hmm. And if they need to go back to L.A. I don't think we're going to need to go seven. back to L.A. I think we're going to sweep it. I don't know the Dodgers. I wouldn't say sweep. But I, if we get one, if we get one, if we get one then in can, L.A., yeah. are we closing it out at home? Oh, yeah. P- Where are you partying? Party on West Time. Okay. <laughs> Party on West Time. <laughs> One of our mutual friends, uh, Shelly, actually posted because she's in L.A. or San Diego. Yeah. And so she was like, well, is everybody partying on, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> on Richmond? <laughs> Shout out to our good friend, Shelly Wade. Shelly Wade. Over there, iHeartRadio. Yeah, yes. L7. Yep, that's my dog. Mm-hmm. Yep. So cool things happening in the city with, uh, with that. Also, in the news, Justin Timberlake has been signed on to do the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 52. In Minnesota. Right. So that's interesting. bringing back Justin. Yeah. Bringing back the sexy. He bringing sexy back. Now, my only question about this is, is he going to do right by Janet? I I think he should. I can, you know, so Janet can. Well, according to TMZ, they've asked the NFL, are there any sanctions or any rules against Janet Jackson performing at an NFL event or Super Bowl because she has not since the Super Bowl was here in Houston in 2004. Right. So the NFL has come out and said that, according to TMZ, there are no issues with Janet performing. Hey, and if TMZ said it, it's the gospel almost. Well, yeah, according to ZM, yeah, that's a thing. Right. Well, that's yeah. cool. I wonder so, if Justin will invite her out. I mean, after the whole Nipplegate thing and the whole, you know, shirt, mal- wardrobe malfunction or whatever, I think, I think it's only right. They need to make up. Like, the world is begging for oh, it. Do you think Janet would do it? Janet, I think, is still pissed, if I can say that word. Yeah, I know I can. She's still kind of mad, and, you know, she black, and she mad and black and a woman. Ooh. And just had a baby. Ooh. Let me tell you something. You're going to have to come real correct, Justin. Yeah. So, hopefully. I, I, I hope so. I mean, I don't think he needs it. 
I don't I, think he needs it for his career. I don't do think you think any? Do you think any, e, either one of them needs it? You think you think Janet needs it? You think is it like a redemption kind of thing? You I think, think it's, it's just, just more of a pub. Like you, you, you know, you never really came out and took any ownership over it. And I, when I say you, I mean Justin Timberlake never, never took ownership of it. He basically left her out there to me. Like I think that, that I think that came across to a issue. lot of people like that. That's her issue. She's dealing with it. She's talking to Oprah about it. She's apologizing. She's put it. She she put out the public statement. She took the brunt of it, and her career did too. Again, I think it's only right. Well, yeah. They need to do a duet and make it right. He probably come out there with In Sync. Ain't that the group he was with? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Probably be In Sync, and who knows? Who knows? Jason. Jay said he ain't performing at the NFL. They still boycotting. Okay. Good they. for Jay. Good for Jay. <laughs> Okay. He might come on as a feature though, but it'll be cool. It'll, I, I'm sure. I'm I'm excited. I'm a Justin fan. I ain't mad, you know, at Justin or whatever. But it, I know he's going to definitely bring out some some rap elements and some soul, some R and B, some fun stuff. Men in Minnesota, I'm sure they'll do some kind of Prince thing. You think? <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it it is, is in Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, that would be hot. Get some purple, purple rain going or something. Right. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, be fun. Uh, uh, 45 is, you know, still putting his foot deep off in his mouth. Can I just say that I no longer like that number? Man, right. Can you make just it, you ready to start hating 45. <laughs> yeah, you just stopped saying his name, and now you're starting to hate the number. <laughs> That's a damn shame. What 45 doing now? Well, you know, uh, he had the incident with the uh, widow. Right, the soldier's widow. Yeah, uh-huh. where he says to the grieving widow, that your husband knew what he signed up for. So, yeah. And and and, and then let's be clear. I, I I'm not the most sensitive motherfucker that you'll ever meet, and the people know me know that. I'm not the most sensitive motherfucker. I'm not. But mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. that you don't say that kind of shit to a a a, a widow, mm-hmm. a mother. Mm-hmm. Even a sister that may have lost a brother right. or something, you right. don't. I right. mean, that's just. I mean, damn. Where is so right? Sh- yeah, and and she actually was on um, uh, Good Morning America with George Stephanopoulos. Right. Shout out to George. George and the widow was, and you know, he had a one on one with the widow, and basically she said the other thing that really, really upset her was it seemed like he forty five didn't know my husband's name. And she said, my husband was in the military. She went through the whole, you know, scenario of, you know, he's been in the military for three years and he had already gotten promotions and he was on his way and he wants, you know, this really strong military career. And it's just, she said the fact that, she, you know, the president didn't even know his name. Yeah. And, 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 and I get that. I mean, and now he is the commander in chief. He is the commander right. in chief over the mili- yeah. the United States Military. armed forces, yes. and 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 which really there are a lot of people under that umbrella. So I can't. But you were on the phone with her. Yeah. Now I I think you. That's why I think you should have been prepped well. Yes. Before getting on the phone call with mm-hmm. this grieving and widow. keep forty four out your mouth. I don't know why he keeps bringing up. That, he I never mean, called nobody. He never did that. Th- don't do that. Don't do that. Cause then proof gonna start coming up. Yeah, cause then we know how he lied. Right. He lied. <laughs> I've never seen. I mean, he. I heard. It's a well, comedian say. <laughs> comedian. I heard a comedian say the other day. He said, "Joy." He said, uh, "45 mm-hmm. lies like he don't know we have Google." <laughs> he lied like it ain't no YouTube. You know, nigga. We can look at this now. You said it right here. Well, it's the same thing with the congresswoman that that was in the car with the lady that actually overheard it because that was the other reason that the young lady, the wife of this soldier that got killed in Niger, which right. I'm waiting for him to mess that up, oh, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely oh. nigger when he said oh, it. God. It's definitely going to be nigger when he said <laughs> it. Or Niger is another way I heard it pronounced. But anyway, there's some, you know, there's some sketchiness going on with this whole deal that happened too. oh yeah because allegedly they left the guy behind right left For some guys a couple behind. of days and yeah. didn't do the whole body count right so there's some things that are happening with that but george you know talked to her he was very you know you could tell he just didn't even know what to say but she just was 
grieving and basically all of this happened right before she gets out of the car to go and greet him on the tarmac wow so she's sitting in the car and there and the only other thing she said she wanted to do was see his body well they don't want her to do that obviously because they don't know what kind of i mean nobody knows what shape he's in yeah because I, uh, he was I, left there for two days. Yeah, and supposedly. I heard that he was, you know, tortured or something to that effect. So, yeah. That's, you don't want to see that. But she said, you know, she just wants to see if there's a foot or hand or just to make sure. But, you know, that's just her grief, I know, talking. It's like you don't want to see that. Uh, yeah, you don't. I mean, and, and it could be some kind of closure for her, though. It could be. You never know. Yeah. You know, grieving yeah. people go through a lot and different emotions. So, yeah. You, and yeah. the fact that she has two other children, she's pregnant, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, wow. About six, seven months pregnant. Oh, wow. So, you know, yeah, it's a lot. But, yeah, he said, you know, that's what they signed up for. So Yeah. And then made them, well, you, you should and be proud. Your son, your husband died a hero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And but the sure. fact that this whole John Kelly thing, too, like they're saying that this congresswoman in Florida lied because she was in the car. She was the first one to come out and say that this didn't happen. The general John Kelly basically was like came out and the president came out and said that she's made crazy statements before and that all these other things. They literally have come out and said that she's made these crazy statements. The press is like, no, she didn't. We saw the whole again. YouTube. We can yeah, YouTube it. Yeah. And now they're questioning the general, General John Kelly, and the president to this the White House spokesperson, this Sarah Huckabee. Huckabee chick. And Huckabee's like, or yeah. Um, well, you know, if you want to question a four star general, then I'll leave that to you. But this that's his statement. Yeah. And that's and Bring that, him out here. Uh, right. Where he at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a chance to talk to him. Yeah. Put him out here. Yeah. And, and 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 him being a general and whatnot, I mean, he has to stand with his commander in chief. That's 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 protocol. I mean, he he's not gonna go. Oh yeah, yeah, he did say it. No, he's not. He, he's but gonna, the but the whole thing with this whole with this whole administration is bait and switch, and they're not going to answer one question without bringing up something else. And that's the part that's like, you all haven't addressed this elephant in the in the room right. that you're trying to address. You just want to. Oh, now you want to talk about North Korea. Oh, now you want to talk right. about, you know. So it's just this ongoing. Because I'm still on Russia. Right. I, I'm still on. I don't think I'm, a lot of people still I, on Russia. I, I, I'm still on Russia. I'm on Russia and, and Russia on Facebook and Russia on. The, right. But, and it kills me that you, that this whole election with Hillary and all of that, y'all, y'all like reamed her about, you know, they, they, some people reamed her about this whole Benghazi thing. And this whole Niger thing is, I hopefully not going to be swept under the rug. Cause like y'all left this dude there. Yeah, yeah. There was nobody count done. The the, the contract. They, it was a contract. It wasn't even a military. Right. Air. It, it was some independent strike. contract kind of thing or what? However. So y'all just that. sent them in there <clears throat> with some bad intel and just oh okay, to a send ambush. Them to an ambush. Yeah. To an ISIS ambush, and boys get killed. They throwing bodies on the on the on this private plane. Didn't count them. Left one back. That, so these are stories that that, is com- that are coming these, back. These are all coming out. So somebody has to answer for that, too. Unlike 45, the stuff we say, you can Google it. We know you can. <laughs> and if we research it long enough, we'll tell you what website is on. Mm. But it will be the mm-hmm. truth. Mm-hmm. Well, another thing happened over the weekend in Texas, at Texas A&M, actually. Um, Ooh. Is five, this a good thing? Yes, yeah, a good thing. Okay. I think it's a good thing. Hook them horns. <laughs> Exactly. No damn we're both fan. we're both there. But this was a an event. Okay. Uh five presidents came together, uh, first time ever in history, for a new nonprofit called One America. Um so Let me see if I can get the five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Uh let's see, it was at A and M, so I know the Bushes was there. Both of them. Okay. H and W. Uh Jimmy Carter, because he just he participates in anything, they let him. Yes. Okay. Uh, was Bill there? Clinton. Yeah. Yes, he was there. Okay, and I'm sure Barack was. Of course, he was. Okay. Forty four. Yeah. So yeah, it was this huge reception. They had Lady Gaga was there. Uh, you what? Know, the Adams. Oh yeah, big big deal. Well, I guess you got five. Are, are are those the only living presidents? Yeah. So oh wow. Yeah. 
Apparently, 45 was invited. He declined. Um, uh, the only thing I think that was on his schedule was the golfing. So he played golf last night. Uh, so he during the reception he decided to. And he, but he sent a video. So he didn't want to fraternize with the other five before no. him. No. So apparently, this one uh, he, one America organization is for all um, all the tragedies that have gone on in. Uh, as far as hurricanes go. Okay. So for U.S. Virgin Islands, um, has Puerto he talked Rico, to the president Florida, of the U.S. Texas. Virgin Islands yet? <laughs> I'm just asking. I know, I know, I know he was waiting to talk or he had talked to the president of the Virgin Islands. 45 had, I was trying to see if he ever did. He was waiting to get that. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I know he, I'm, pr- I'm sure he has not talked to the lady in Puerto Rico no more. I don't think she won't only, I don't think he won't see her right now. Or the Congresswoman that was on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> that had Ben Carson wrapped around her little finger, too. So the organization that... <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's for Hurricane Aid. Okay. And they've already raised... Uh, I think they're looking for $100 million. They've already raised $31 million, apparently. I don't even know when and how all of this happened. Lady Gaga donated a million of her, of her money. And then each one of them spoke, except for H, because H, George H. Oh, yeah, Big George. Yeah, but he was in a wheelchair, but still, you know, had spe- good spirits and, you know, waving and stuff like that. But um, did he know he was there? Yeah, I think because he was talking to Bill Clinton okay, okay. and he kind of did like a little laugh thing or whatever. Um, yeah, I think he knew. That's wrong. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I just caught it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> well, it's crazy because somebody and. and uh Jimmy Carter actually spoke and you know, he loves Habitat for Humanity. Right. So he was like, Y'all can donate to this or Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. <laughs> they but they, they're committed to building homes too, like six thousand, I think. Um, oh, cool. Across the uh in nation. The, in the disaster areas or just across in general? In the disaster areas. Oh, so okay. in, in Texas, in those three those four areas okay. uh, that were that I mentioned. And then I know locally Deshaun Watson, the the new quarterback has become the face of Habitat for Humanity as well, so he's going to be doing the local effort for Houston. Oh yeah, yeah, because he's a he's a he's a beneficiary exactly of Hannah Mann. Exactly. he was a kid. Yeah, yeah. His mom, yeah. yeah. So hopefully he was telling people, you know, volunteer and you know. I um, may look Jimmy into Carter. volunteering with that. Yeah, may, yeah, Habitat. Yeah, that. we should. We should put that together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of fun. I've I've seen the houses in the beginning stages and the end stages, but never worked on a house specifically. Yeah, so. I've actually built. I've I've actually did. Uh, Trey, Trey the Truth. Mm-hmm. He's also uh, he was part of the Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. Okay. And where well, they were building houses and yeah. actually build a house. Yeah. Yeah. It, w- it was pretty cool. Yeah. I w- he was doing it, and I went out and you know. Yeah. Helped, helped him, him out. out. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. And they're yeah, really shout organized. out to my boy Trey because yeah. he's still out here uh, passing out goods for people in need. Yes, still yeah, going. still going. Shout out to my boy Trader the Truth. Yeah, a lot of multi service centers. I know FEMA is still hustle gang over everything. Oh yeah, and speaking of president, yeah, guess who is seriously thinking about running in twenty twenty? Twenty twenty running against who? Trump. Oh uh, yeah. Who? Mark Cuban. Quit. Yeah, Mark Cuban the, said the owner of the Dallas Mavericks. Owner of the Dallas Mavericks. But Stop. this is his thing. This is his thing though. He said he actually wanted to have. Is a, he a Democrat? No, he would say, he, oh, he no, he's definitely running as a Republican. But he said he's strongly independent, but he would run as a Republican. Okay, so. Which is I, what I think. Same shit Trump said, too. Right. It's crazy, though, because I don't think it's ever, it's never been done that they've had a incumbent president, you know, not get the nomination. Okay, okay so let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. So. If you, but how can you if you're the president, mm-hmm. do you have to get nominated again by your party to yeah. run for a second term? Yeah, they, they, the delegates still have to vote for you to be their uh, nominee, the Republican nominee. So that's they still do the convention. If you remember, you know, Barack Obama, it just was a big party. But when he was mid year, you know, like the four four year mark and he was doing the reelection. Yeah, they still do the convention. You still get voted on. So your delegation or those states that come together and you're a delegate for those states, you still vote. So they could overturn it and not vote Trump in as, a, as their delegate. They could, I mean, as their nominee, they could vote. You know, somebody, somebody else. Yeah, they so, still get to vote. Okay. Uh, oh, 
Yeah. It's so just like a, a smaller election. Okay. So when you go into the convention. So if, okay, let me ask you this. So mm-hmm. if, if say Mark Cuban does mm-hmm. run mm-hmm. and he gets the Republican nomination, nomination. Mm-hmm. Okay. When he gets the Republican nomination, does Trump have to put together a whole nother campaign to run or is he just not out now? He's not even, he's not a Republican candidate, so he can run as a independent. So he wouldn't even be on the ballot as a Republican, not as a Republican, even though he's a Republican president. He couldn't because his party didn't nominate him. Oh, Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. The party nominates you to be the, 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 um, I definitely miss that part in yeah. government. Class. That's what the whole. Well, that's what the whole convention is about. It's a big party where all these, you know, when you see them in sections, Texas is right. over here with a little sign, right? You know, and Florida's they over here with a little, little sign on, and the little, hats on. Yeah. yeah. So that's what all of that is. The convention is, you know, you you you've signed up as a delegate for your state, and then you go in, you find out what the party platform is. So if you're a Democrat. Or a Republican, you find out what the party platform is. Everybody gets a chance to to speak into that, you know, what they want. So Republicans, you're pro life, you know. So who 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 actually votes for to get the? Is it the congressman, the senator? Who who votes to see who gets to nominate? To gets to be a delegate? No, who gets to be the who gonna be the representative of the Republican Party? Who do we vote for that? No, the delegates that are at the convention. Oh, okay. okay. All of those people that are right. there. Oh, okay, okay. They okay. vote. Oh, they actually so vote. So remember, like if you remember like the last nights of the election, they and they usually cut it off by this time, but they're literally like standing there and they're like, Texas, we have a hundred and forty two delegates. We, you know, a hundred and forty two oh. votes for and then they'll say whoever the nomination was for. So this time it was for, you know, Donald Trump. They do the same thing in the Democratic Convention. So the big thing that happened in the Democratic Convention, where a lot of this comes to play, is when Hillary and Bernie were neck oh, and neck. Okay. So if you think about it in that way, okay, it's the same thing. Where Hillary oh, and Bernie okay. were on the same right, party, right, right, and they their their votes were so close that Hillary became the Democratic the nominee. candidate nominee. But that's where all of that came from, and that's where that you know okay. all of those delegations kind of come together. Okay, which mm-hmm. sounds like some more. Yeah, more my school. thing is I want to learn how to become a delegate. Right, 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 and get in that whole little world. So I don't know how you you know that I don't know if that's a voting thing or if that's you know you working in the in the in in that world and then they vote you in to be the delegate. Right, I don't know how that political thing works. Pay attention in government class, people. Please, it's very important, as it you can see. very important. Because, as you can see, the other thing, too, is I heard that they're trying to get rid of, of the Electoral College. They so, should. I think that's a bunch of bullshit. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, it's created a lot of problems, a lot of, you know. Gen- it's created more problems than solutions, I think. I mean, oh, yeah. uh, you know, I think, yeah. that, I think that's just bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another movie. I got to figure out the name of it, but it's on Netflix, and it tells you about the, how that the you know when they do the zoning in the districts and how all of that has even come into play where you know they draw the districts and the republican party has it's on netflix i'm gonna have to figure out the name of it though i'll i'll find out yeah i'm gonna get your your password again i've messed around and logged out now i can't log back (laughs) in so I'm going to have to get your password again. Okay, it would be gross. Just, just get saying. your own Netflix account. <laughs> Lord. That's too easy. <laughs> too much like right. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to put you on the bill next time. Right. You owe me. <laughs> you are, who watching all this comedy shit on my Netflix? God damn this. Still mad you didn't tell me about the darn uh, J- Def Jam. 25? Oh, yeah. My bad. I text him like. <laughs> yeah. Well, you saw it. But I'm like, did you see this? Like, this was hot. We just finished watching it. Da 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 da. Oh yeah, I saw it Thursday. Yeah, yeah, I saw it when it came out. What? <laughs> and you ain't tell me about it. Thanks again for the password. <laughs> yes. Again, thank you again for the password. And to show that Hollywood is filled with a bunch of pervs. Oh wow. Another Hollywood director. Big Hollywood director. Who is not Harvey Weinstein? Not Harvey Weinstein this time. This is James Toback. Hmm. What did he direct? Um, he directed the movie that I think I was Oscar nominated, Bugsy. Oh yes. Um, uh, it was another one too. I think. Um, 
But he's another two girls director. and a guy. Some movie. Okay. Um, that a lot of he, he's he's a well known director. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Okay. And you know they you know how we talked about last week with yeah. the Me Too hashtag. Yeah, the hashtag Me Too. That's how he came out. Quit somebody. Someone I I, I forget the lady's name. Uh-huh. She said that she had an incident with him when she was eighteen. Uh huh. To where he was, you know, very inappropriate with her. So she put this on Twitter with the hashtag, Me Too. Uh oh. And she did that, and quite a few other women came out. Actually, thirty-seven what? other women. Wait, what? Yeah. You said some other women. Yeah, thirty-seven women came out and already. Said that this guy, yeah, already, and said that this guy did the same thing or similar stuff to them, masturbated in front of them. Oh and all kind of stuff like that well, so you know you um lupita came out uh, against harvey weinstein who lupita the the uh, african actress oh from uh i forgot her uh, i can't pronounce her last name right but right 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 so and she's from africa so i can say african actress right right <laughs> right but she um, actually came out against Harvey Weinstein over the, um, I think last week, like Thursday or Friday, and said that she had had, it didn't, it, it I'm not going to downplay it, but she went to his room. Mm-hmm. They were there, you know, at the house enjoying some time or whatever. And then he wanted to them to go some to the more, bedroom. Enjoy some more time. Well, she didn't want to do all of that. So her compromise in her head was this powerful guy. So I'll just give him a massage, you know, like on his shoulders. So they did the massage thing, did all of that, and apparently it just got too much for her, so she ended up leaving. Well, she posted all of this and talked about it, and he's now refu- saying that the story, the account was a little different. He remembers it being a little I'm different. I'm sure he did. Well, really? I'm sure he did. Fucking but pervert. the wife has is uh, divorcing him. Right. I remember that. And this is Weinstein. Weinstein's wife is divorcing him. Yeah. I'm, I don't. I, don't, oh. I need to research this uh, the Hollywood. Oh director. yeah. Well, let, let me let me give you let me give you. Oh, it's one more. Of the, one of the things about mm. James Toback. So, you know, uh, they reached out to him. Mm-hmm. I want to say, it may even be TMZ that reached out to him mm-hmm. and asked him about his account. And he said, get this, Mm-mm. it is biologically impossible for him to have done that. What? Bi- what? Bi- you are biologically impossible for him to have sexually assaulted and sexually harassed those women how is that even possible i'm glad you, you asked what because he said Mm-mm. he has diabetes and he has a heart condition what they got to do with his mouth and that, his hands exactly well hey he can't, I can't stand he, it. that's what he said he said he's a diabetic and a heart that don't he have nothing to do so he couldn't have done it he biologically couldn't have done it <laughs> like if you don't get your perverted ass out of here just because your don't work don't mean that you can't be a pervert. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Hollywood is in for it because a lot of uh, people don't understand how much w- shit goes on Yeah, in Hollywood. They don't. They, 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 it's a lot of shit that go on in Hollywood, man. And and, 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 and they've but, been keeping it under the... The sweeping under the rug all these years. You'll find so many people that 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 live in LA mm-hmm. that that move to LA, mm-hmm. and once they get out there, they will tell you. And uh, man, it is like uh, the story from the Bible. What Sodom and Gomorrah? Uh-huh, 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 yeah, uh-huh. yeah. It, it, you, it's it, 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 LA Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Well, and I know that like. I mean, but we hear these stories all the time about kids getting molested, about kids, you know, the the directors on the set, you know, touching them inappropriately. Like adults, people have grown up yeah. into this. Yeah. I mean, one guy, Corey, um, he killed himself, but he was best friends with another Corey, and they were in a movie, like a they were boys in a movie together. There's like four boys. Oh, I think Corey Feldman or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, he went through a lot as a child. Well, acting. he came out and basically said that's what happened to his home. The other Corey that killed himself, that he had been molested by Weinstein. No. <laughs> oh, oh wow. all of it's coming out. Oh, like, wow. all of it. And so, like, all of these things that have been swept under the rug, it needs to be cleaned up. It does. That's ridiculous. Yeah, like, why does. do you have to work in those conditions? Because and you think that you're not going to be able to get a job 
you know, because this powerful person, you know, that's, that's a pervert may not, you know, may talk badly about you. You may get blackballed or whatever the reasoning is. Right. The old casting couch. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That ain't, that ain't good. It's a lot. That is a lot. lot. That is a lot. Mm -mm. Your girl is going through it. Who? Cardi B. Oh, that is my girl. She's starting to get some of that that backlash of being a star, Uh so to speak. What happened now? Uh, Well, you know, they kicked her out of a hotel. No. Oh, I did see something about that on her Instagram page. Yeah, yeah. They kicked her out of a hotel because they said she was smoking weed in the room. Was she? No. And 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 the wild part about it is, uh. Cardi B is probably one of the few Mm -hmm. rappers that, well, so far I haven't heard her promote, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, marijuana or or smoking weed or anything because she said that's not her thing. She doesn't, she doesn't do that. And she said her team doesn't do that. Mm. She said, but for some reason they came to her hotel, came to her room. Who who is she dating? I I don't, is she dating somebody? Yeah. Like some, one of those rappers. I don't know. 21 set now. Oh, I'm not sure. Just one of the mumble people. Yeah, but <laughs> when the mumblers. Yeah, so, oh, okay. So she got kicked out. And she said, and she said they, you know, it, it. She was on the floor with nothing but, you know, Caucasians. Oh, so that she's trying to say it was a racist thing. Yeah, you know, saying that they came to her and said it was her room and put her out hotel. But. Uh, but if you didn't do it, I, I can see her sticking up for it or not. I mean, because if you didn't do it, don't don't take the accusation. What of, city was she in? Do you know? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's just, you know, it's it's a double-edged sword, you know, being a celebrity. That, that comes a lot, you know, with a lot. Uh, no telling what time they got into the hotel or checked in, you know, other guests being disturbed or having, and you talking loud. I mean, it's just all oh, kinds oh, oh, of. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, the hotel came out. I'm glad you said that because the hotel came out and said, no, they didn't put her out. For the weed, they said they put her out because guests were complaining of the she noise. Was too loud. See, I knew it was something. They, that's what the hotel came yeah. out and said that they were. She was complaining. I mean, you got to think. You know, celebrities, artists like that usually get into the hotel twelve, one, two o'clock in the morning. Okay, let me tell you something. I've been to a hotel where that that's happened, and I got to get up at seven or eight in the morning and go somewhere. Hey, hey, hey! Calm that down. Right, yo, it's not like we these are no soundproof walls in here, so I hate those situations. I, you know, it's kind of like you wish she would have maybe gotten the whole floor and just, you know, or they put her, you know, in a situation where she had the wing of the of the hotel, but or caught a corner room at the end of the hallway type thing. Yeah, yeah that's that's, yeah. that's all I do. Yeah. That's why I tell you, I need to be at the end of a hall. Yeah, and and be where a balcony is if there is somebody that's out there doing whatever they're doing. But, okay, what are you doing? Because you're obviously I, I haven't was, been paying attention. I was about to mention Weinstein again. Mm-hmm. And because now, uh, now I'm hearing so many people say, oh, yeah, we knew that. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that, that bothers me. Well, the one guy said he actually, the guy that actually. Matt Damon said he knew. I don't get how you can just you know somebody is wrongfully doing something. And but what do you do? That's that's the boss. That's the boss. Who do you complain to? Yeah, I get it. Who do you, I mean? What do you who do you tell? I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, at this point, it's only public opinion, and his brother kicked him out. But who do you tell? You don't go to the HR. You go to the HR office. Yeah. Well, people said that they would do that, and of course, HR lets the big guy know. Hey, we gotta exactly. We got a situation. Yeah. Let's clean this up. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it turns into that. So yeah. yeah, and 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 the actresses are calling them out too. <laughs> the mm. HR department, <laughs> right? Yeah, I did. I went in that way. Well, you should have. Uh, I think that was the Amazon CEO. Well, you should have gone and talked to someone. And one girl snapped, uh, clapped back, and was like, "I did." <laughs> and I was told da da da. I was like, "Oh, right, yeah." So that's that. Be careful, man. See some, say some. Mm. Oh, Stevie Wonder said he could uh, he could sing the national anthem for uh, the World Series. He said he's available. Do they want Stevie to sing? I, he said he would do it on his harmonica. So he wouldn't really if, sing. 
He does both. I think. I'm saying, but he wouldn't. Would he? Would he? Would he? Would he not sing? I don't or would know. he just play? He said he's um, available. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Stevie, sit you down. got too many questions. Sit down, Stevie. You got enough bread. I just want him to cut his hair. Is that bad to say? Out loud? Not at all. And whoever is with Stevie, they need <laughs> they need their ass beat for letting him walk around with his hairline behind his earlobes. That's all I'm saying. Stop Damn. the madness. Stop the madness. If if Stevie could see it, he'd be like, man, what the fuck is this? That's all I'm saying. Somebody need to tell him. I'm not going to go there with you because you. Just like, saying. Behind his earlobes there. Hey, have you seen his hair? Man? I'm like, and then he, I'm like, come on, man. Let's do the braids, Stevie. Come on, man. I know you like the way the beads sound. You know. You oh, can't. no. <laughs> no, you, you like you see him, you're swaying your head and you hear the beads. Yeah, stop it, Stevie. Stop it. So that's like a sound mechanism for him to hear the bees, could, could apparently. Be, could very well be. I'm just saying. I don't know. Soothing for him? Never really just sat down and talked to him before. Met him, but never really just sat down and had that conversation. I can't believe you equated the bees sound. <laughs> the hell, he can't see him. I'm just saying. Oh, so, you know, he, no. he probably hearing him and got something totally different in his mind or what it looked Speaking like. Speaking of, y'all need to quit giving Stevie a ball and letting him shoot hoops, whatever it is that y'all think is cute, stop doing that. Did some you see the video? Funny, some did of, did some you see the video of him though. shooting the hoop? Some of it be funny though. I didn't see that. I didn't see it. They have, some of it be somebody funny. gave him a basketball in in a school, and he threw the basketball up like he was shooting. He didn't make it, of course. Of course. But everybody, of course, laughing like that's not. Come on now, y'all. Hey, but Stevie cool with it. That means I, yeah. <laughs> Stevie. You know, I like when he be in the car and they show him and he's oh. sitting there behind the wheel like he drive it. That should be funny as No, well. he is. No, he and I know James <laughs> Corbin did a, a, a karaoke thing, a car karaoke thing with him. Hilarious. Did the same thing. Yeah. And hey, why don't you drive, Steve? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, he, he does make fun of it. But again, it's just like, stop setting him up for like that. Well, We're going to pass you the ball. You, he the you old shoot cool it. guy now. He the old cool guy oh, now. Oh, man. At the, at the little old spot. Yeah. He the old cool guy now. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a story. I don't know how cool it is. Uh-oh. Check this out. Mm-hmm. So this wife mm-hmm. married this guy, multimillionaire, living mm-hmm. in a mansion. Okay. They get a divorce. Okay. The guy's, the millionaire's new wife, wants the house that him and his ex-wife were living in okay so you know he gets his attorneys boom 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 Mm -hmm. he gets the house gives the wife three days to get out gives the ex-wife three days to get out Mm. so the ex-wife ends up with the house she loses the house then gets gets the house back okay her last three days, this is what she did. The first day, she packed. Or the second day, she had all the movers come in, pack up the stuff, move it out the house. Mm-hmm. The third day, she had shrimp, caviar. She eats it, enjoys the drinks, and she takes the leftovers mm-hmm. of the shrimp and caviar. I, think I know where this is going. And she goes in every room mm-hmm. and puts the shrimp leftovers Shells, mm-hmm. and caviar leftover mm-hmm. in the curtain Air rod. Fence. Oh, yes. That's a good one, too. Oh. Mm-hmm. That, I and mean, so the whole time, they, this house, we can't get, we don't know what this smell is. And then she cleaned the whole house. Mm-hmm. Spick and span. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They move in. Mm-hmm. They like, yo, what is this smell? Mm. They can't get the smell out. They don't know where it's coming from. None of that. Mm. Yeah, so they eventually give her back. The house. The house. Oh, so they were smelling old shrimp shells. Yeah. And caviar caviar eggs. Fish eggs. And yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something about being petty. (laughs) Because that's petty. That's Petty to the motherfucker right there. Petty Pam is the new president of the Petty Pam Committee. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I've heard of that before. Don't ask me how. Mm. That's a damn. But yeah, in the air, I've heard it in the uh, in your in the air vents that you could put them put um, some shells in there. 
and, and that's probably throughout what, the whole house. Yeah, that probably was the first place they looked. Right. Who would I would have never thought about looking at no damn curtain rods. No, that's that's why I say she the president of the Petty Pam Committee this week. That's hilarious. Yes, I love it. That that's some petty shit. Mm-hmm. Are you still eating meat? Of course. Ugh. I'm still transitioning, so. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't even started the transition. Plant based diet. Think about it. Do it once a week. Plant based. Yeah, I mean, I I can, I, but I I honestly think that I could actually be a vegetarian because I I have people around me that are, are vegetarians and so and, and the food has been good, you know, maybe all kind of different, you know, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and I can say it's, you know it's pretty the, good. Some of you don't even know that it's not meat really. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I made a small change at Chipotle. They have sofritas, which is tofu, instead of the meat. right. So right. I don't do that. I don't, I don't. I can't do tofu. I tried. I'm not. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't well, like Chipotle it. in itself will make. I just don't like the texture of tofu. The tofu. The it cooked just, tofu. I mean, you've had it all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All kind of different yeah, ways. Yeah. All kind of. Yeah, Next time you go saying. to Chipotle, ask them for a little sample and just see, like a little, just see if you like it. Yeah. Seriously. Well, yeah. Well, I, I, if anything, I go to Chipotle. I try that because I, <laughs> I really won't eat the meat. Chipotle, cause. Hey. And that's why you should stop eating it, period. True that. Because <laughs> everywhere that. you go. I literally, we were just having this conversation literally about all of the ca- all of the things that you hear mostly are about meat and dairy. That there's a, you know, something wrong with it or the temperature is off or. Right. I, I can't say that I'm done with uh, milk, though. You could do like, almond milk. That, and, and that's where I am. Like, okay. I honestly like almond milk now. Yeah. Like, and that once I started drinking it and then tried to drink, go back to milk, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't like this no more. Yeah, it tastes you know, different. Yeah. You know, now I like the way my cereal tastes with the almond with milk. With the almond milk, yeah. 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 So. It's little changes like that, though. But, you know, I know, you know, after what's the health, you, I, that was one of your challenges. Yeah, which, what the health, if you, you should watch it. If you haven't seen What the Health, it's on Netflix. I give you Natalie's password. And what? You can watch it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was it was a good and informative. It, it just I didn't it didn't really do enough for me to like. Oh no, I'm not eating meat. Oh anymore. yeah, because yeah, I've yeah. seen I've heard some people watching and they totally stopped after after watching it. Yeah, and and I thought it was gonna be more like uh more graphic, Mm-mm. you know, and and that's yeah. what it wasn't. Right. And so I was like, was okay, subtle. this ain't trying to just totally scare you away from meat and showing you pigs getting slaughtered or nothing like that. It's nothing like that. Mm-hmm. So if you get a chance, check out What the Health, people. Yeah. And, you know. And whatever else you can on Netflix yeah. while you get somebody else's password. Hey, hey, hey. The hell? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I like independent films. Uh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's it, man. And, again, that has been a wonderful episode, at least in my mind, <clears throat> of Dez White Intoxicating Thoughts. Oh, I was here. Yeah, yeah, you were here. You were right on time, though. We appreciate y'all coming out, checking us out, man. Uh, As always, check us out on the social media. You can find my girl. Nat Jones. Who? On Instagram. Nat Jones who? On Facebook. Nat Jones who? On Twitter. Nat Jones who? Or is that it? That's just my name. Nat Jones. Yes. I'm not on nothing else. Okay, okay. I'm on Pinterest. Do people even steal? You know what? I'm just saying. (laughs) It's like I'm still on Tumblr. So... Anyway, right. Uh, my boy, Dez White. It's Dez White on Twitter. Uh huh. Dez White with two Z's on Instagram. Dez White with two Z's on Facebook. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Dez White Live on Facebook also. All right. And you can also hit us up on the Dez White Intoxicating <laughs> Thoughts, Thoughts. <laughs> Podcast. I mean, uh, Facebook page. We have a Facebook page. Yeah. Now. Page. Yeah, we need to get some people on there. I yeah. think like right now we got uh maybe I don't know, a couple of my cousins. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't even think I've liked it. So let me go check that out. Yeah, please. See, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So tell your friends about us. Tell your friends about us to check us out. We're on all those that can't miss us. And also you can see us on iTunes and wherever you receive your podcast, you can see us there. All right. Say good night, Natalie. Good night. <laughs>